you can choose the system floor, mounted or wall mounted. Before installing, find a suitable location. Take note of the clearance space needed to keep X1 away from nearby objects. If you need to install more than two power module, make sure the distance between the two set of modules is above 30 keen. Find the bracket studs and secure screws inside them. You have three options for screw hole spacing, 12 inches, 16 inches, or 20 inches. Mark an appropriate height to install the wall bracket. Put the base plate on the left and right brackets and secure with the M4 10mm screws. Use a level to position the bracket back plate on the wall. Mark the holes. Use M870 millimeter screws to mount the brackets on the wall. Confirm the bracket is level. Align the positioning card with the top of the base. Make sure it adheres to both the wall and mount bracket. Align the positioning card's bottom holes with the marked points on the wall. Mark the holes for the second or third mount brackets. Continue marking all necessary holes before mounting the bracket on the wall. When you're ready to mount the brackets, you'll see there are three options for screw hole spacing. These are also 12 inches, 16 inches, or 20 inches. Align the marked holes with the appropriate slots on the mount bracket. Make sure the 30 millimeter side faces the bottom. Confirm the mount bracket is level. If not, adjust. Repeat these steps to install all of the wall mount brackets. Install the first battery onto the bracket. Secure it with the interlockers, aligning the battery with the base plate. Stack and lock the remaining batteries and power modules, then make sure they're aligned. Insert shims between the anti-tip bracket and the hook to prevent any wobbling. After installing, check one more time that all modules are algae and are secured on the brackets. Choose a wall clearance of either 30M or 70M based on the actual situation. Firstly, place the battery module base vertically on the ground against the wall. Use the level to make sure the base is level. Fold the positioning card as directed and align it with the top of the base. Make sure it adheres to the wall and the base. Next, unfold the positioning card. Align the bottom holes with the marked points on the wall. Continue marking all necessary holes before mounting the bracket on the wall. For ground installation, there are two types of screw hole distances, 16 inches and 20 inches. Use M650 millimeter screws to secure the brackets to the wall. Next, align the marked holes with the corresponding bracket slots. Check that the bracket is level. Adjust if necessary. Finally, secure the bracket with the self-tapping screws. Repeat these steps to install all of the mount brackets on the wall. We're ready to install the batteries. Place the first battery onto the base and secure it with the connector clip on both sides. Make sure the battery is aligned with the base. Mount the battery and base onto the bracket. Mount the second battery module. Stack and lock the remaining battery modules and power modules, then check the alignment of all modules. After finishing the installation, make sure all the modules are aligned and mounted steadily on the brackets. To install the backup controller, press down on the latch to open the door. Lift and remove the door. Unfasten the PM4 10 mm screws to detach the inner panel. Keep the screws to reinstall. Remove the necessary cable knockouts on the bottom of the backup controller. You'll need to do this before installing the backup controller on the wall. Find an appropriate place to install the backup controller. Use a 16 inch screw hole distance and check that the backup controller is level. Use four self-tapping screws to secure the backup controller to the wall. Clean up any residual dust. Then check that the backup controller is secure. Anchor Solix. Live in power.